I think I'm gonna blow. Do you see it moving? There's smoke in there. All gone. All done. I'm gonna take this outside. So we've opened door one of our advent calendar, but because it's the third, we can also open door number two. Look, daddy found door number two. Do you wanna push here? Push here and pull up. <gasps> You've opened door number two of the advent calendar. Good job. What's in there? Is that another chocolate? Uh -huh. Oh, Wow. Nice. Do you wanna give that tabalita to open oh, for you? Oh, what does that look like? All right, Daniel, so we've hung up our advent calendar on the wall, and you just have to remind us every day that we can, we can open another door, right? And then we get another piece of chocolate, but you have to share, right? Because you're good at sharing. So this is absolutely ridiculous that in the US healthcare system, you can go to a in-network hospital and against your will be treated by an out-of-network provider and then end up having to pay a bunch of money for that. We have returned to cleaning the living room before we go upstairs again, so feeling good about that. The island, as always, needs some work. Too many Christmas presents are starting to come in. I need a microphone that is powered by the camera being on because I just recorded this whole clip about the Stormlight Archive and the fact that I just finished the Rhythm of War book and gave an update on my health and fitness goals from the last few days and I didn't have any audio. So, here we go again. This is Stephen Fluen's life update. Coming into December, I had a goal of counting all my calories, so using like my fitness pal and tracking everything I ate. That has been going really, really well. I've been tracking the food, making these things conscious, and then what happened second to that is that I started being keto in the month of December. So just like I did in October, I'm gonna be keto for most of the month of December, and it's going really, really well. The only guilty pleasure that I've been allowing myself is a little bit of peanut butter, which is not keto, it's, it's kind of very, very iffy, but I figure if it allows me to not eat sugar and to not binge, then it's probably a good thing. But I've been controlling calories, been eating well. I've seen a couple pound weight loss, but I know that's not actually weight loss, right? That's just water weight. That's just the effect of changing your diet a little bit. So I'm very excited to see over the month of December how much weight I lose, how much I get back, because I think over the last couple months I gained like six pounds, and that's just, it's too much, right? Like it shouldn't be fluctuating up and down that much. And it's because I was binging, right? It's because I was eating dessert every night, maybe once or twice, maybe some Fruit Loops, those sorts of things. And all those decisions are bad, and so I'm back onto systems and processes and controls that I know work for me. It is that I finished Rhythm of War, which is the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. If you haven't read Brandon Sanderson, you haven't gotten into the fantasy space, I highly recommend it. These books are so entertaining, they're so much fun, and they're a really, really good mix of not being too shallow, not being too surface, not like having good guys always win, bad guys always lose, but also not being just complete downers like Game of Thrones where like any character could die at any time. Like it, it's good. It's a really, really good mix and I've enjoyed it. And so the fourth book, basically it's like 1600 pages or 1500 pages. And the last 500 pages were page turners. Like I basically couldn't put the book down over the last 24, 48 hours. And so I hammered through this book in like three days and it was good. It was great, I love it. I think it might have been the best in the Stormlight Archive, and maybe half of that is that I've invested so much time in the first three books, but the thing to know is that these books are dense. Like, there are forward, backward timeline references throughout the books, and so I always pull up like a wiki next to me to try and understand, okay, who is Ulim again? What are we see doing? I'm thinking about doing a vlog where I actually go through the first three Stormlight Archive books and take, give my summary of all things that happened and what matters, because going into Rhythm of War, I had to go figure that out. I actually reread the first book, but I think if I had a YouTube clip, I love those that are out there. People do a, such a great job of breaking down the things you need to know so that you can go into the next book and appreciate everything. 